Hi, I'm State Senator Jason Raper, and I just wanted to take a few moments to say thank you to everyone that has been reaching out and signing on to our petition at jasonraper.com, urging and asking Governor Asa Hutchinson to sign SB6 into law. As many of you know, on Wednesday of this week, my co-sponsor in the House, Representative Mary Bentley, presented SB6 and the Arkansas House of Representatives voted by a supermajority, 76 members out of 100, to vote for SB6. It's the Arkansas Unborn Child Protection Act to abolish abortion in Arkansas except to save the life of the mother. And so I want to thank all of you because literally less than two weeks ago, I asked you to make your voices heard. At the time when I made the challenge, there was about 5,000 people that had signed on to our petition at, at uh, jasonraper.com. And as of this morning, over 80,000 people have put their e-signature to that request of Governor Hutchinson. So Governor Hutchinson, we await. We hope that you will take a stand for life just like the rest of the Arkansas legislature. It's very rare on a bill of this nature that you have 27 out of 35 senators and 76 out of 100 House members, 103 total state legislators out of 135 that actually vote for a bill of this nature. This is a testament to the fact that Arkansas people have voted for legislators that put life number one as a priority. You know, I'm a Republican, I'm a proud Republican. And the Arkansas Republican Party platform actually states in the list of principles, the first two principles are this, and I hope that you share them with all your friends in our state. Number one is the belief in Almighty God, and number two is the sanctity of life. SB6 is the culmination of over a decade of work in which we've passed numerous pro-life bills in our state. I want to say a special thank you to Arkansas Right to Life and Arkansas Family Council for coming to me and helping me with this bill from the very beginning. We have seen an outpouring of support and support letters from all across the country, as well as right here at home. Special thank you to Governor Mike Huckabee for also putting his support behind the bill. And Bishop Anthony Taylor of the Catholic Diocese of Arkansas, we thank you, sir, for taking a stand for life. And so Wednesday, the bill was passed and it sits now on the governor's desk. Under Arkansas law, the governor has five business days to either sign, either veto, or allow the bill to become law without his signature. I believe that it's very clear the people of Arkansas support this bill. A supermajority super of legislators voted for the bill. And Amendment 68, lest we forget, from 1988, the people of Arkansas voted overwhelmingly to even put into the Arkansas Constitution that we protect life from the moment of conception except to save the life of the mother. Let me tend to one other thing here. We know that this issue often is charged with emotional debates, and sometimes people say things that just absolutely are not true. I've seen this in the past few days, and it's unfortunate. And one of the things we've even seen a legislator who said that Arkansas Right to Life and Family Council and myself were lying about this bill, which is absolutely ridiculous. They want to make claims just simply to cover their own political position on things. The bottom line is this is a straightforward bill. It's to protect life in our state, and it's absolutely to be a challenge directly to Roe v. Wade because abortion is a crime against humanity. We've had over 62 million little babies killed, aborted in our nation since 1973. The last year that we had numbers for the state of Arkansas, 2019, just under 3,000 little babies were killed in our own state here. It's time to take a stand. One of the things that I've seen out there is that people have said that the prohibition section, and I want to clarify so that you know, the bill states that there is no prohibition to using contraception, contraceptives only, of any kind up until the point that a pregnancy could be medically detected. That's not an abortion. It's not an abortifacient. It is called contraception or emergency contraception. 
And so for those of you that may be hearing from someone that is misleading you, stating misinformation or impugning the integrity of Arkansas Right to Life or the Arkansas Family Council, they're absolutely wrong. They don't have to agree with us on what we say, that we want to stand for life. They don't have to agree with us on the political positioning. They don't have to agree with us that all lives are valuable, no matter how they're conceived, but they do need to tell the truth. So today, I just wanted to say thank you, because literally tens of thousands, now hundreds of thousands of people, and probably even into the millions now, based on the feedback, no one Arkansas has done. We've taken a stand for life. We passed the strongest pro-life bill ever passed in the legislature since Roe v. Wade in 1973. And it's one of the strongest pro-life bills ever passed in the history of the country. It's not only Arkansas. States all across the country realize that it's no longer acceptable to allow human beings to be killed with no consequence whatsoever. In a nation where you could be imprisoned for abusing an animal or killing an animal, how is it that we do not have any standard or any accountability for human life? I want to say thank you again. And until Governor Asa Hutchinson signs the bill, I invite you to go to jasonrapert.com and simply sign your name and say, we encourage the governor to sign the bill and we want him to take a stand for life. God bless you. God bless the state of Arkansas. And thank you all for your help because all of you have helped make SB6 possible. Have a great day.